Starting off with 121 QSOs, let's see if I can go for 1,000. Step one to setting up for my campsite is finding some odd and very strange way. I didn't have any tape, so I had to use some, some plastic wrap to get it to attach to this random rod to get the coax through. So now I need to pull the coax through and I have it tied off to the back of the chair in the camper so that I don't pull it all the way through. Then what I did is I tied this in a knot and it was a pretty good knot to get to pinch down on that. So now we have and now we have coax to the outside. Okay, that's step one. And I think I have plenty of selections for a 63 foot end fed. All I have to do is get it over one of those trees. So uh, we'll see what I can do with my little slingy dingy. Problem is there's a creek, it's intermittent, but it doesn't look like there's any dry spot. So I really don't even want to go over there. So I may have to shoot real high. I don't know. We'll find out in just well, a minute. I was aiming a little high. <laughs> I um, unraveled a hundred feet of arborist line and I figured I'm just gonna let this thing kind of droop like this. And I just put it over a Widowmaker limb right there. So I don't know if you can see it, but that's the end of the random wire. I was gonna put up the end fed half wave, but I think my wife took my bow into town. Uh, the kids are swimming in the springs. So this ought to get it done. We're about to find out if it'll tune up. My poor POTUS sack got muddy though. Holy crap. It landed right down in that mud bog down there. So I'm gonna have to wash it. Now I don't have long to play. So what I'm gonna try to do is set up WSJTX and I'm just gonna do 12 FT4 or FT8 contacts, uh, possibly on 20 meters. We're using an FT891 signal link. Let's see if this works. I feel like it's communicating with this and we're gonna find out in just a minute if it's communicating with AC log. I may have to change some settings tonight after I'm finished. But I'll show you what I'm going to do. I think it should. I think it should. Remember, we played on this the other day. So, we need to change this. The FT891, goodness, you can't even see it. On the FT891, let's go to 20 meters. Let's scroll down to 14.074. Now we need to go to data. Now on this radio, the problem with data is the width. And I think a lot of folks forget to do this and they only see a smidgen of the entire thing. We don't need noise block on, I don't think, because we're not in the Jeep. Okay, let's see, anything else? The next thing is that we're using an external tuner also not going to run 100 watts. I'm going to go about 45. And we got to find the tuner select is lamp. So we're good there. So now we should be able to hold the tune button.
problem is it's used to a different antenna. So it had to go through the whole search and seek and destroy. Now the next thing on the computer, I am seeing a problem with audio. So we need to go to audio and it changed the name to three. The radio, we don't have cat control. So we're using Vox with the signal link. So the way you can test that is by using the tune button. And see it keys the radio. But we do not need any delay. I don't know about audio settings, so we need to go over here. Nope, not that. We need to go over here and go to the meter. We need to look at the ALC. Now for that, when we hit tune, see the more you adjust in, you don't want it past the ALC because that is gonna be bad. So we're gonna stick it right in the middle just like that, okay? Now, the next thing is seeing there is a lot of noise that is keeping us from hearing on the receive side. There's the problem is the settings in the radio aren't right for digital. So I'm going to go to KB9VBR's video and go There's find those settings. Some interference. That is not going to be good. Okay, the reason there's no audio is we're in data lower. So I think what we need to do, and I've already got it pulled up for quick access, I think we need to be in upper sideband. And now we need to go back to, because I changed something just a minute ago. Remember that your width needs to be there. And you have to change that with every stinking band on this radio. I wish they would change it on the FT891. So I'm gonna leave this on width. Okay, now we have stations. So what we're gonna do down here at the bottom, I'm not even spotted yet. I'll spot in just a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and start calling CQ Poda because somebody will answer me. As stated at the beginning of the video, I started with 121 QSOs. That was when I took a stop here when I was headed to Huntsville in 2023. Let's see if that works. Ooh, negative 20, that's gonna be tough. Yeah, it's only 542. This is the time at home. I'm in Alabama, it's an hour behind. So my watch is right, but the computer's wrong. I'm not gonna change it. UTC time, wait, I want, oh, wait, we already, shoot. Okay, there's a reason I'm struggling here. W. But the other reason I'm struggling, and I'm gonna see if I can show you this, but my wife also has my regular glasses, and so it's really daggum dark in here. So we got him, we got him, he's negative eight. This, this is why I can't see very well. I should have been able to click the right person, but it didn't happen. So the next thing we wanna check for is this going to get hot? This is, and I'll put the link up there, but this is an RFI choke for common mode noise. So we got W0XLD in the log now. So now we're up to four. I need about eight more. So N6PF just called me, but for some reason they didn't call me back. But see, now that they're finished, I'm gonna go ahead and click N6PF. Go ahead and get them ready. If I receive the 73, if not, I might see, see, I hate it when that happens. They ditched me. I 
hate it when that happens. The other thing I like to do is go through here. If I see CQ Poda, which I've been yapping the whole time. So KF8 AGT, there's KF8 AGT. I need to call CQ. I need to quit playing around. Part to parts can wait till later. I know my kids and my wife are waiting for me. I had to set up the station, set up the camper and get water going, electricity leveled. And I mostly got it leveled. Mostly got it leveled. The, the back is so far on an overhang that um, I couldn't even put the stabilizers down. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that later. I don't have enough blocks to build it up. It needs to be up a foot and a half, I think, on each side. I only have about six inches of blocks total left because I had to level the, I had, man, it, this is a terrible side out here. <laughs> so being in this congestion is usually not where I want to be. But looking right here, I can tell maybe nobody is transmitting right there. But the fact that I can't hear anything up here tells me that I have a setting that is incorrect in the radio. This should be wider than this. W0WXZ, man, those guys got licensed within about six months of each other. I own the key. And now I'm doing digital because of the noise. But Ooh, look at the go, look at the go, look at the go, look at the go. Say hey. Hey, hey. Bob, babe. See, all of us are the dollar. Bait. Go for it. Cha ching, 1000. Now let's take a tour of the actual springs in the state park. And I put my camera into a plastic bag so that I could deep dive into the water. It's a little deeper spot here. All right, we're up to that level. Hi, Chihuahua. Bunch of little fish swimming around right there. Now this is where things tend to get a little bit more serious. It's quite deep right there. See, all fogged up. I think these are too tight, but it is what it is. It is about near impossible to swim against this. I think my wife thought that I was going into the spring and that's the stupid game she was talking about. I do play stupid games, but not when it comes to drowning. But this is the ledge where the spring is here at Blue Springs State Park in Alabama. 
I'm sorry for the wrinkle in the plastic bag. I did not bring the waterproof case for my camera, and I should have. I don't know what I was thinking. So, Ziploc bag it is, but check this out. It is so neat inside of this, this action. Oh, what have we found here? Oh, we got it. It's a pickle. I had to slow this down because I could only hold my breath for about 15 seconds underwater. It's so cold and I'm out of shape. But this is the spring. And you can see some fish hanging out down in here. Check that out. Look down in there. If you're seeing this on a big screen, you probably can see it gets dark fast down there. But there's a fish just swimming around in there. A couple more fish right here. They're pretty nice sized little fishies. But that is where 3,600 gallons per minute is just pouring out. And now we're just gonna let the water push us through this drainage hole right here and you'll get to see it as we pass through. I'll show you from two different perspectives. One as we're facing forward and one as we're looking backwards. And that 3,600 gallons of water really pushes hard. But hey, at the end of this trip, I did it. 1,145 total QSOs. And I hope you've enjoyed this shorter video. I didn't show everything that I did, but if you're a mind to it, please consider subscribing to my channel. And you can also consider becoming a member of the channel. And there are three levels, and the link is down in the description along with my gear. And you get some perks with these levels, and so check them out. If you join my channel with the loyal fan, you don't get much, but you get a little bit. You get some custom emojis that you can use. And thank you for your support. And the fan that wants more, you'll get some shout outs and you'll get uh, photos and updates. And then the fan of growth might keep me from putting ads on this channel. 73. Hey, quick question. I put a legit Easter egg bouncing around in this video. Did you find it? I bet Kyle, Alpha Alpha Zero Zulu did. <laughs>